This is the Padua Podcast Network. Well, Emma was uh, still living at home on her own on her 115th birthday. Running a Fever, episode 164, Living to 100, Emma Morano. Welcome to the show. My name is Michael Davis. This is a show about fitness, diet, and medicine, how to live your life as long, happy, healthy, and active as possible, right up to the very end. And that's what we're talking about lately. Diet department, so before I came out here, I did not work out this morning. So I didn't go to the gym this morning. And I decided right before I came out, actually I had lunch, tamales. And that's about 450 calories. Chicken tamales should get me plenty of carbs and protein and fat. And I also had my pre-workout energy drink that I would normally have first thing in the morning. So it's one of the reasons I'm out here trying to stay active. Missed that workout, so I'm going to get some active activity in later in the day. So we're in the middle of our series on the longest lived people of all time in terms of those that have been documented, verified with birth certificates and witnesses and other documentation that ties the person making the claim to the birth certificate. There may be other people out there that are living to these ages and longer. You know, if you never speak up, if you never get interviewed in the press, if you never make a claim to the Guinness Book of World Records saying you're the oldest person, then you're probably not going to show up in this list. I'm probably not going to be able to find you. So if you are listening, I would love to hear from someone over the age of 100. Go ahead and contact me. Mail at runningafever.com is my email address. Emma Morano. So this is the fifth in our series on centenarians. And Emma Morano lived from November 29th, 1889 to tax day, 2017, April 15th, although she was from Italy. And so they probably have a different tax day. Or maybe no tax day at all, I don't know. She lived a total of 117 years, 137 days. And that makes her number seven on the list of the all-time longest lived people. Born in a town called Siviasco, which is in far northern Italy. You know, when you're kind of zoomed out, it looks like it's right on the border of uh, Switzerland, Swiss Italian border, but of course there are mountains right there. The, uh, the Alps, they call them. They're the Alps and Swiss Alps and Italian Alps. And, uh, so she's not right on the border. She's probably just the Italian side of the Alps where she was born. She never married and her uh, sister Angela lived to be 102. So a very long-lived family. Now there are a couple things we always look at here. We're going to look at the quality of life and also the relevance of this information. Well, Emma was uh, still living at home on her own on her 115th birthday. So uh, kind of a good sign that she did not need full-time assistance uh, at that age. It would be awesome uh, if I could get to that age or even 90 without having someone having to have help. She was single her whole life, of course, never married. And uh, she worked in a school kitchen until she was 75. Though I think uh, she started out working in a factory 
uh, that produced a, a kind of vegetable that grows there in Italy. And I don't have that at the tip of my tongue, but uh, she worked in a factory that sort of processed this uh, food. And then she worked in a school cafeteria. Uh, her diet, now this is where, this is the interesting part. Uh, her diet was, <laughs> one of the things she had was three raw eggs every single day. Now, I need to point out that she was diagnosed with anemia, and I believe that is, uh, was one of the things that she was told to do to sort of counteract that at an early age. But nonetheless, uh, there's video of her eating eggs <laughs> on YouTube. And, uh, you know, if you go to the uh, show notes, runningfever.com slash 164, you're going to see all the YouTube uh, links there, and you can check out some interviews with Emma. She did drink alcohol. Well, it's good to be in a shady area here. It's uh, really warm today, and it's sun. I can feel my skin starting to tingle from the sunburn. I need to probably stay out of the sun for a few days. I've had a lot of it recently. Yeah, she liked to have a glass of homemade grappa. So she uh, she had her little home brew. And grappa is a, I'd heard of this before. I used to work with some, uh, when I was working in uh, New England, there's a large Portuguese population there. And uh, both from Portugal and people who speak Portuguese from Brazil which is a, a slightly different kind of Portuguese, but anyway, sidetrack. Anyway, I think his father, the guy that I worked with, uh, liked the grappa. The grappa is a grape-based liquor, very strong. Uh, I think it's similar to brandy. It may even be considered a type of brandy. So, uh, raw eggs, grappa, and also chocolate and uh, cookies sometimes so in moderation of course you know uh, once you get to be the oldest person in the world or close to it and you get interviewed they always ask you what the secret is to long life and you know i think if you get to be even in your anywhere you know if you get to be in your 80s or 90s definitely you're going to get asked that question uh, on your birthday <laughs> but uh, she said the most important thing in addition to this diet was positive thinking about the future so that's not surprising at all to me that positive thinking is a important part of staying old well if you don't think positively about the future you know your mind is so connected our minds are so powerful that uh, I think having that positive attitude keeps you going physically and mentally. That's good to hear. And oddly, she said that staying single, in a 2016 interview, she said that staying single was one of her secrets to longevity. Emma was a lifelong bachelorette. What do we learn from this? Of course, the second thing right quality of life and then what do we learn well hi. hi well this is our first weird diet and uh we got through this is number seven right so we got through six other episodes five other centenarians without getting to someone who, you know, had cookies and uh, eggs, raw eggs every day. So, you know, take that for what it's worth. Uh, I do want to pay attention to the individual stories of these people and not just take them as a statistical group because everything kind of comes together. And remember, that the uh, egg diet was part of a treatment for anemia and that uh, you might want to think about that before just loading up on eggs every day sweets you know 
sweets are okay in moderation. As we know, I don't exclude anything from my diet, and I do have real sugar from time to time, but you gotta, you know, keep it in the context of that daily caloric number that you're looking for. Being single, well, that's uh, counterintuitive. Uh, statistically, of course, we hear that married people live longer. But most of these women, if they were married, and the top 10 are all women, by the way, lived decades without their spouses. So there is that to consider. The men, maybe not. You know, maybe men don't outlive their spouses quite as often as women do. Uh, and the alcohol consumption sort of matches up with our Blue Zones data that uh, seems to be a pattern. Of course, if she was uh, had a problem with alcohol, she probably wouldn't be around for quite as long. So take that into consideration as well. If you have an addiction, you probably, well, one of the ways of staying away from that is just completely giving it up altogether. Because alcoholics often have a problem moderating. It's just all or nothing. And with alcohol, that can be very dangerous. It does kill. So there you go. That's the only Italian on our list, and I uh, hope you enjoyed that little discussion about Emma Murano, who lived to be 117 years old. This is running a fever, and if you don't have the fever, you need to go out and catch it. And if you got the fever, let's keep it, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.